And that should be all we need to do. Let's go ahead and fire up 3D Studio Max and we're just going to follow these customization steps at the end. I'm going to set up some very simple buttons uh, that are quick to do just to, to test that the files are working, uh, that, the, that the plugins are working, but you can follow these detailed instructions to set up menu options or hotkeys or whatever you want to do uh, from the autopack.org download 3D Studio Max installation descriptions. Okay, so just click close continue and go to customize, customize user interface and again I'm just going to set up some quick hack buttons here under the toolbars we need to filter down to just the UPI plugins so under category click UPI plugins you see auto cell and EPMV I dragged these in earlier um, before I remembered that I needed to install the Max Plus plugin so you drag them into there and they'll instantly pop up available in your screen up here. Just close that and click. Let's test EPMV first. Just use the defaults, click fetch. Give it a second for that to download, and as soon as you're able to move the toolbar here, let's go and look and see the molecular surface. I'm gonna hit Command W or Alt W and then zoom in so we can see this a little better. And there we have a molecular surface for our default test file. Um, we can turn that off. We can do a coarse molecular surface. You can adjust this in real time. You can set increase the resolution on it. We can uh, reset the coloring scheme back to using the CPK coloring scheme which is color by atom type or we can go down for a nice pretty color per residue type or we can color from the N to C terminus we have tutorials explaining what all this means online and we're going to make 3D Studio Max specific ones for you soon. But for now we're just clicking these buttons to test the system, make sure it works. Let's do a ribbon model. That's the default ribbon model and we have a more interesting beaded ribbon model and in the near future you'll be able to click the options button here and adjust every single parameter that is used to set up this ribbon model and we'll finish with an atoms file here now the atoms in stick mode take a little bit longer to load in 3d studio max we're working to speed up those processes but you get the basics so we'll close that i'm just going to select everything And actually, we don't need to do that. Let's just go straight into uh, an autofill test. Click the auto cell tab, and we've got inst we've got instructions for how to do all this online. But I'll just go to the filler tab just to make sure everything's working. Click start. I'm going to zoom out. Edit, select all, zoom out, and we'll do a real-time fill. And just click the fill tab, and you'll see it start to deposit the molecules for you in real time. So check out the tutorials online that are further down on the installation page here. Get started, let us know if you run into any problems, and let us know how it works out. Send us some images. Thank you.